everybody. Um, I've had a few requests here lately to uh, share the settings that I've put into my Phytech system. So um, I'm going to take just a quick few minutes here and I'm going to show you what settings I have. Keep in mind that these settings could vary for two engines of the same manufacturer and same cubic inch displacement. And they're definitely going to vary from different manufacturers and different engine sizes. So um, this isn't a way to set every engine. If you're having trouble, maybe you can use this as a baseline. Also, I want to note too that I don't think that my settings are perfect yet. My cold starts seem to take a few more cranks than what I feel like they should. I think my hot starts are just perfect. Um, so with that in mind, let me show you what I've got. So let's go in, in the initial setup and for engine setup. I've got a V8. It's a 345. Get that glare off there. Um, my cam I've set to the mildest setting. Rev limit is 4000 RPM. I know that seems really low, but that is the uh, recommended maximum RPM for this engine. It's a low RPM engine. Um, idle I've got set 730. Um, so that's that's the basic set. Now most of this stuff I have not changed. This is exactly how it's set itself or it's learned. Same here. I haven't changed anything here. Now, for the crank and the warm up, this is where I have made some changes. Um, the prime fuel I've brought down quite a bit out of the box. It's set pretty high. Um, I could probably turn this back up, and this may help with my cold starts. Uh, it seems like this engine does like a little bit more gas when it's trying to cold start. But uh, I think where it comes out of the box is a bit too much. Um, cranking AIC, that's idle air control. I have modified that. So this too is a setting that I may be able to modify to get my cold starts better. Right now, I still feel like it's um, probably in this initial um, prime. So... Um, you can see the settings that I've changed. Uh, it is very important to make sure that you do set your IAC, um, the IAC steps. I, um, I've gone back and I've done mine a little bit different from, than from the way that I originally showed in an uh, earlier video. I found a little bit better tutorial and uh, I set it that way. Let me go here and I'm going to go through this in the um, in the pro tuning section. Uh, this is something that doesn't show you by default. You have to go in and enable this. Um, you can do this right here in the display setup. Go to the pro calibration. Make sure you change that to show. It's, it's hide by default. Change that to show. And then you get this menu here. So you still see a lot of the same stuff, but it does add some additional uh, settings, which can be set here, as you notice. Um, And this should, you can actually see I've got the, this turned off for doing the primer shot with the key. This is another thing that might help me with my cold start, maybe turning that back on. So um, these are some settings I'll, I'll experiment with and see if I can get the cold start better. I just haven't had a chance yet, so. Um, Get that glare off of there. So then here's some of the 
idle settings. One additional thing that I do want to warn about, and I have another video for this specifically, but uh, I initially, I had a, a hot start issue where when this thing was warm, it absolutely would not start. Uh, it always, it sounded like it was going to start and then it would just fall. And uh, it had absolutely nothing to do with my settings. Uh, it was all because of how my Phytech unit was getting power. And uh, so I was using it on a switched accessory in the fuse box. And what was happening is it was losing uh, full 12 volts whenever I would crank and uh, just manually control that main power on the main power to the Phytech unit. Um, I control with the, with the switch on the dash. It still has the um, key to accessory connection, but um, so keep that in mind. If you're having hot start problems, it may not be your settings at all. As always, uh, shoot me a message if you have any questions or anything. I'd be more than happy to respond. And uh, thanks for watching.